guys what's up welcome to another video episode of shout me loud i'm your host harsh agrawal and today video is for all the wordpress users and the users who understand that speed is very important for and this video is especially important for anybody who's using cloudflare so what happened is recently cloudflare released a new feature called apo uh, and let me show you it's called automatic platform optimization and what it does is it automatically optimizes your wordpress to take advantage of a uh, cloudflare edge server to speed up your website and i've actually tested this on one of my website and i was blown away by the sheer improvement in the overall speed and i thought i'll do another a video on this so that you can implement this for your website this is a paid service if you are using the pro feature of uh, cloudflare then you can use it for free if you are on the free version of cloudflare it would cost you about $5 a month or $60 a year to use this service now there is this guide by Brian from Kinsta and I think it's a fantastic guide uh, so you should read this guide to understand about APO what it does and how to use it uh, I'm actually skipping writing this time because I think this guide is perfect and I'll leave the link of this guide in the description but what I'm doing is I'm actually creating this video tutorial on showing you how to implement APO Cloudflare APO for your WordPress website and I will also show you before and after speed comparison so you know like how what is the speed improvement that you can expect now I have tried and tested using GT metrics and tools.pingdom but I found web.dev to be the best measure uh, for this kind of test. So as you can see for Shout Me Loud, the current the performance is 40, which is not great. Whereas our SEO is 90, which is which is perfect. So let's see once we implement Cloudflare APO, how much improvement we see on the performance side of Shout Me Loud. And I think it would be a very great test. So without further delay, let's go ahead. Let's check out this tutorial. And in case if you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you have not implemented Cloudflare, Cloudflare yet, do check out my other video on how to implement Cloudflare. It would help you to first set up Cloudflare and then you can set up APO on your website. All right, so let's go ahead. So very first thing, I've already done a test. Uh, and here we can see the performance is 40. And we need to improve this performance. I mean, overall first content full uh, paint speed index everything is in red which is not a great speed to have maybe uh, it's because we have we are making lot of consistent changes so speed optimization comes always comes later um, but anyways so here is what you need to do you need to log into your uh, cloudflare account you need to select your domain name then go to speed and then go to optimization here scroll down and you'll see this option called automatic platform optimization for WordPress. Now you need to purchase the subscription. So let's quickly do that. Click on purchase and click on confirm payment. And that's it. The purchase the automatic platform optimization for WordPress. Now, first thing we need to do is enable this feature. So this feature is enabled. Now let's log into shout me loud dashboard. All right, so now the next step is to install the plugin. So click on add new, search for Cloudflare, click on install now and then activate the plugin. Now let's go to plugin settings by going to Cloudflare settings and then click on sign in here. Now here two things is required. One is API token and email address. Email address would be your login email address for Cloudflare. And I would quickly show you how to create a API token. So go to cloudflare.com and click on your profile name over here. Then select the API token. Click on create token. And here you would see this option called WordPress. So basically we are creating an API token specially for WordPress. Now click on use template. And then click on continue to summary. And here you will create a token which will help you to connect with your uh, your wordpress website with your cloudflare account so i've already done that now all i need to do is log in using my already created token so let me do that all right so here we are now here you'll see this option apply recommended cloudflare settings for wordpress so let's click on apply 
and that's it now uh, one one last thing i'll just simply purge cache also clear cache from my wp rocket plugin and what we'll do is we will ensure that we are basically now serving our website from cloudflare edge we need to check that by that we can check from using developer tool so let me show you how to do that but before that let's open few pages on our website so that uh, even if the pages are not cached it will start being uh, start getting cached from on our server and also on cloudflare edge server and i highly recommend you to read this article because this article covers each and every aspect of apo and i think it's a brilliant work by brian uh, good job brian here and for all of you who are wondering what is our current setup looks like we are hosted on kinsta server and we are using astra pro wordpress theme so i think this should be good so here is what we need to do we need to open an a website in the incognito a browser tab in the incognito mode and let's open shoutmeloud.com then let's go to view developer developer tools and here let's refresh the page let's select shoutmeloud and as we can see here a cf cache status hit so that's cloudflare cache status which is hit so that means we are serving from cloudflare cache and now let's run the web development tool test let's duplicate this and let's run another test and see if we see any improvement in the overall result and i'm keeping my fingers crossed because uh this is the first time second time i'm actually doing and this is the live recording so hopefully we get the good results all right results are out uh, the performance improvement is the score overall score moved from 40 to 41 only the first contentful paint decreased by almost 8 second speed index decreased by 4 seconds so there is marginal improvement here uh, but again it's really hard to say like if if it is an improvement or not let's quickly run another test to see that So anyways uh now on the other side that I've tested the result uh the difference was significant but on this side the result was uh minuscule compared to the initial result but overall I would recommend you to implement cloudflare apo and see if it is creating giving you significant re result or not especially if you're serving international audience and you are feeling like you know the audience from let's say your website is hosted in us and your audience from new zealand or audience from russia are browsing your website in a very slow fashion this apo implementation could make a significant difference for your website um i and i believe like you need to do a little more test to see the before and after test result uh okay so it's giving very different result in the conse consequent test again uh you you know how the speed how speed test work often it gives different result but this is how you implement cloudflare apo i would suggest you to implement cloudflare apo test it out buy it for one month and see if it works for your website or not if it does not work you can always disable the feature it would not uh, and the implementation part is very simple as you have just seen in case of any question let me know i will see you in the next video bye bye this is harsh